Today I have a couple clips for you from the Cannes Film Festival in France on May 20th, the premiere of Killers of the Flower Moon, directed by Martin Scorsese and starring an indigenous cast, uh, an incredible film. Uh, the response has already been overwhelming and it's very clear that the representation given to indigenous people is going to be uh, a, a tremendous milestone in film. And I'm looking forward to this film when it is released in October. But for now we have the press conference that Martin Scorsese, Robert De Niro, Leonardo DiCaprio, most importantly, Lily Gladstone, who plays the main character of Molly Burkhart in Killers of the Flower Moon, and then Chief Standing Bear from the Osage Nation. This movie tells the story of the Osage murders that occurred in Oklahoma, a kind of history that people really need to know. And so let's tune in here to what Chief Standing Bear had to say about what this film meant for his people and why he welcomed Martin Scorsese and people from Hollywood into his tribe to produce and create this film. I want to go back a little bit oh, yes, I will. Okay. to when um, Imperative purchased, uh, I understand, the purchased the rights to the book by David Grann. And we were talking to some of your representatives and expressing our concern that we did not want to uh, uh, lose our voice in the story. And eventually, uh, when your team members, some of your team members came and uh, participated in uh, some ser prayer services that we had and dinner, uh, I remember some imperatives standing up and saying, uh, we will make a movie uh, the Osage will be proud of and then also that sticks with us is the statement, uh, we're going to tell this story through the eyes of Molly. From that moment on, we thought, well, this is a different group. And as we developed over the years, remember we had uh, the pandemic in between, and, and the, everybody had to pull back and then re-engage. Uh, we just picked right up with our language and culture uh, people, uh, that that Mr. Scorsese said, first of all, we're going to film here. We're going to film with the Osage. We're going to invite Osage to come in, not only on uh, extras, but there are there are young Osage working behind the cameras uh, in cinematography with world class people and in costume. Our people are. Uh, were in, employed in making the costumes and and and, and the song and, and so forth. And it was so that's remarkable. Normally, you don't see these productions welcome indigenous people when their stories are the subject of films. You don't see them brought in and made a part of the production so that they actually derive some direct benefit through the creation of this project so that they get to share in the vision of, of what is being brought together by all of these people, these stars, uh, renowned filmmaker, and the very experienced production crew that is going to be assembled on any Scorsese production. And then it's important that people know that this book by David Graham was going to be just a FBI procedural drama, kind of true crime story. And then what Chief Standing Bear is describing is how it was altered significantly to be a epic melodrama, a, a sweeping romantic melodrama between Molly Burkhart played by Lily Gladstone. And then Leonardo DiCaprio plays the character of Ernest and it's, it's, their, it's their love story, a complex love story. And it's about what's going on in the Osage land. It's about what's going on as FBI agents come in to investigate these murders. It's about the wealth that these people have that 
white uh, people are trying to steal from underneath them. And it's about the complex issues and the issues of racism and oppression that are intrinsic to this history of indigenous people. And then when you see the movie, uh, you see our language, which is endangered, but you see our language spoken here, uh, and you can probably um, talk a, a better Osage than some of our Osage, right? You know, I was sitting next to Mr. De Niro last night, and uh, I, I got very excited uh, about some of his Osage, but I, I remember talking to Van Bighorse, our language uh, coordinator, with world-class people and in costume. Our people are, uh, were in, employed in making the costumes and, 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 and the song and, and so forth. And then when you see the movie, uh, you see our language, which is endangered, but you see our language spoken here. Uh, the, uh, and you can probably um, talk a, a better Osage than some of our Osage, right? You know, I was sitting next to Mr. De Niro last night, and uh, I, I got very excited uh, about some of his Osage, but I, I remember talking to Van Bighorse, our language uh, coordinator, he's more than a coordinator, he's the Secretary of Language, Education, and Culture, talking to Van and talking to my senior advisor, uh, John Williams, uh, who unfortunately passed away and made, made friendships between us all, about how it is being done there on the set. And they impressed upon me how hard these actors worked, how hard they worked, how serious uh, th this business is to them. And for a citizen outside of this world, uh, we get our own conceptions, preconceptions about what is involved and maybe think it, oh, well, Bob De Niro just wakes up and naturally it's everything comes right out. <laughs> but my my team and my people expressed to me these are very hard working people and they had on in in their minds and with them physically my people working with them men and women young and old working with them and they responded and it, it, it's just Beautiful. They, they, they could make two of these movies. So that's Chief Standing Bear describing the relationship that was formed between the producers and filmmakers who were involved in this project and brought it to the Osage people and wanted their support, their buy-in, their consent, their permission to tell this story and their involvement in this story because they recognized that they could not tell it without representing their perspectives, without making what they do central to the production. So here is Lily Gladstone speaking at the press conference about this production. These, these artistic souls on the stage here cared about telling a story that pierces the veil of what society tells us we're supposed to care about and not. Um, by focusing on these conflicted characters, I really, who else is going to challenge people to challenge their own complicity in white supremacy and such a platform, except for this man here. Um, other artists are doing that work. People listen to what this one says. So turning the lens, turning the big lens, the, the, the most golden lens into, into areas where our communities, you know, we're speaking of the 1920s, Osage community. We're, we're talking about Black Wall Street in Tulsa. Um, we're talking about a lot in our film and why the hell does the world not know about these things? Our communities always have. Um, it's so central to everything about how we understand our place in the world. Um, we also still need, we also still need this, <laughs> you know, we need these allies. We need these allies. And it may be a sad statement to have to concede 
that allies are still necessary for indigenous people to have their stories told, but that certainly seems like what Lily Gladstone is saying based upon her experience that she knows without someone like Martin Scorsese, perhaps studios are not going to take a chance on this. Or the story that's going to be told is the one that is verbatim, the nonfiction book that is earned, deserved a claim. But it would be from the perspective of the FBI and not the perspective of the Osage. And it would be about the investigation happening on Osage land with those characters being peripheral to what law enforcement is going through as they try to figure out who is committing the crimes. And it would be about white characters dealing with their complicated feelings as they learn the reality of what happens to indigenous people. So it would be how they deal with racism. Perhaps you could call it their fragility. And that's not how to tell the story. The story should come from the perspective of the people who are the survivors, the culture that was under attack. And so Lily Gladstone's a, a Blackfeet and Nimipu heritage, and she's someone who it's good to see getting a chance to show her acting abilities and to give a performance that is probably of a caliber that will receive an Oscar nomination. And she's going to receive industry acclaim with this film. This is the cast. You should see the cast that is assembled for this film. And they, the indigenous people as this user shows uh, these are the actors that were brought on to be in this picture. And I don't know each of their characters. I'm looking forward to meeting those characters when I see the production. But Tantu Cardinal, Tatanka Means, Jillian Dion, Larry Sellers, Janae Collins, Kara Jade Myers, Yancey Redcorn, William Below. These are all people who were in the film. And I uh, can't wait to see what kind of imprint they leave on this story.